Hello there, Mary. I just wanted to let you know that we're just about to leave the hotel and start driving back home now. So thank you so much for watching the house for us while we were gone. We really do appreciate it. It's not a problem at all, Julie. I mean, you and Brandon have been so far apart. I'm glad you got a nice little vacation. You had said you two really wanted to spend some time together, given all that's happened, right? Yes, and I really, really needed it. I will say that much. Well, that's just lovely to hear. I take it that you two enjoyed your time, then. Yes, it was really a lovely time, and I'm so glad I was able to do that. Next time I decide to take a trip, though, Brandon and I will make sure that we make arrangements for all three of us to go. I was talking to Brandon, and he insisted on it. Oh, well, isn't my son just the most thoughtful young man? That sounds lovely, by the way. Although, I just know that you and I are going to be quite lonely from here on out. Can you believe that Brandon is being asked to work away from home for a whole year? I know. I don't know why I thought I was going to be okay when he first told me. But now I'm starting to wish that I really did ask about going out and moving with him for his new job. I know. But at least it's just one year, and then the two of you will be back together again. Besides, you're going to keep working even while he's gone, right? Next time we decide to take a trip, though, Brandon and I will make sure that we make arrangements for all three of us to go. Uh, I was talking to Brandon, and he insisted on it. I think you're going to be just fine. You two make such a nice couple. Do you know that? Of course, the fact that he's leaving the country doesn't make it any easier. If he was staying here, then at least he could come and visit some weekends or holidays or something like that. But I guess that just might not happen now. I know. I really am just so sad about the whole thing. If I can be honest, I just really miss my husband. What? But you two haven't even been married for a full year. Can you really say that you miss him that much? Besides, at least we still have each other, right? I'm probably the only other person who knows just quite how you feel, since we're both missing the same person. Besides, if you're really feeling that lonely, I have some work around the house you can do to take your mind off of things. <laughs> you know, I think I might just have to ask for a pass on that, if it's okay. <laughs> of course, dear, I was only joking with you. Anyways, I guess if you're leaving from the hotel now that you won't be getting back home until quite late, yes? Do you know what you're going to do for dinner? Yeah, I, I was just thinking of eating at home, if that's okay with you. Of course, that's not a problem at all. I'll think of something to cook for you before you get here. Mary, are you sure about that? You know that you really don't have to do that for me. You really can be too kind sometimes, do you know that? Oh, please, it's the least I can do. Besides, I was still going to have to cook dinner for myself. It's nothing to just cook a bit more so that you have a bit too. Not to mention the fact that, unlike you, I've got nothing but time on my hands. I know, but you certainly haven't let retirement slow you down at all. You're as energetic as ever. Oh, well, I certainly don't feel it most days. All I feel are the years weighing down on me most of the time. Well, even if that's true, you certainly don't show it at all. Well, thank you so much, dear. I would be lying if I said that I didn't really try to take care of myself. Anyway, I guess I'll get things ready for dinner. You tell that son of mine to make sure that he gets you back home safe, okay? Julie, are you there? I'm just messaging to let you know that I want fish for dinner. Oh, and chop up some fresh vegetables and make us a salad to eat as well, okay? Mary, I'm really sorry, but I'll have to stay late at the office doing some overtime. I don't really think I'll be able to get home in time to make dinner for the two of us. So then you're telling me that I'll have to do all of the cooking tonight? I just don't think that I'm going to be getting out of here any earlier than 8 tonight. So, I'm really sorry to ask, but it would help a lot if you could cook dinner tonight. So you're telling me that I would have to wait until past 9 o'clock before I would be eating anything from you? Fine then, I see how it is. Maybe I'll just have something delivered then. What do you think about that? 
Well, I really am sorry if I'm causing any kind of inconvenience for you by my having to work. This whole house really has just been falling apart ever since Brandon left for his work thing. I mean, don't you have any shame at all in how much you've let this part break down? Don't you have any pride in maintaining your home as a wife? I really just don't know what to say. This isn't the first time that I've had to work overtime at my office. Yes, but those times we had Brandon and I here at home and one of us could take care of the house. But with Brandon gone and you working all day, that means all of the work falls to me, doesn't it? Do you really think it's fair that I have to do everything? Mary, I'm really sorry if I'm not understanding correctly, but did I do something to upset you? I just feel like lately you've been acting really coldly towards me and I don't know what I did. I just explained to you what it is I'm upset about, didn't I? I told you that ever since Brandon left, you've been completely slacking about keeping up the housework and doing the cooking. Well, I'm really sorry that it's ended up that way, but it really wasn't my intention at all. I hope you realize that. Even the food you've been making when you do cook is just the same three recipes recycled. Do you think I hadn't noticed that? I'm really sorry. I just have never really been good at cooking, and I'm so tired after I come home from working all day. Brandon was always so much better at cooking, but he's still so far away. Well, I'm getting sick of eating the same things over and over again. Not only that, but I feel like you've been giving even less food than before. Are you trying to starve me or something? Mary, please, you know that I would never do anything like that. I'm so sorry if I've done anything to give you that idea. And another thing I wanted to tell you. Will you stop running the laundry so late at night? You know that my bedroom is near the laundry room, don't you? Or are you just going to tell me that you don't have any other time to do laundry except for at night? Why can't you just set your alarm for earlier in the morning and do it then? Is that really too much to ask? Okay, I understand. I'm really sorry that I was bothering you with that before. Well, I just... I mean... Why am I having to explain this to you? Why don't you have the common sense to figure it out on your own? I just wish that you wouldn't be so selfish. After all, I am your mother-in-law, and you should be more considerate of my needs. Mary, you know that I care about you a lot and that I always try to consider your needs. Well, just as long as you realize that you've been, that's what matters most. And you need to quit using being busy as an excuse to get out of all of this. Honestly ridiculous that you even think you can really even say that when you're married to someone like Brandon. He went to one of the top schools in the country and is working for one of the world's largest companies now. You only have a high school diploma and you're still keeping your meaningless job. What's even the point of working if you're going to marry someone rich and successful like Brandon? I'm sorry, Mary, but are you really that opposed to me keeping my job? Is that what this is about? I'm just saying that maybe if you are doing something more like Brandon, I might be able to make an exception. But as it stands, you don't have a great job, and you're not even earning all that much money. I just feel like your time would be better used staying home and taking care of the house. After all, what's the point of having a daughter-in-law if not to take care of you? I see. So that's really how you feel about all of this? Well, it is, but I'm afraid that it's really too late to do much of it now. I really just don't expect you to impress me with anything now. And given that both your parents are dead, it's not like we can expect some huge windfall of money through you, either. Honestly, I just hope that you and Brandon get a divorce soon. Do you really mean that? Is that really what you want to happen? I mean, I just don't really see any reason for you two to stay together. What are you able to bring to the table at all for him? You're just a plain girl who's going to end up starting a very plain family with my son, when he could get so much more out of life. But Mary, please. I, I really am doing my best to keep things running while Brandon is away. You know that, right? I really didn't mean to cause you so much trouble. Well, you should even try harder not to do that from now on. Honestly, do you even think before you act? The least you could do is just obey me whenever I tell you to do something. But if you can't even do that, then maybe I really should just try and run you out of here. You really need to remember your place in this family. Mary, are you there? 
I just wanted to let you know that I'm not going to be going home today. What are you talking about? Are you staying somewhere else tonight or something? Do you even realize what you're telling me right now? You are my son's wife, and you're really telling me that you're not coming back to your house tonight? I'm very sorry, but I had an accident at work and I passed out. Apparently I also have a fever, so I'm going to be staying at a friend's house who lives near my company. I see what's going on here. You're just going to stay with another man while your husband is away on his business trip. You really do have some nerve telling me your mother-in-law all of this. No, it isn't that. In fact, this friend is a girl, actually. Also, I've already told Brandon about what happened. Oh, really? Well, then who is going to make sure that I have dinner in the evening and that breakfast is ready for me when I wake up? And who is going to do all of the cleaning and laundry around here, huh? And just who do you think is going to take care of the garden as well? You better at least tell me that you'll be stopping by here to take care of all of that. Mary, I'm sorry, but until I recover from what happened to me, I won't be doing any of that. What I need to do right now is rest. Oh, please, you probably just caught a little cold or something like that. But that's not an excuse to get out of your chores. That's something that a little kid would try to do. I am your mother-in-law, and I'm ordering you to take care of me. Even if I did go over to the house, I just wouldn't be able to do anything at all in my state. Besides, aren't you just getting over that cold that you had just last week? I would hate if whatever I have is contagious and I got you sick. I'm just going to stay here with my friend, all right? You really are just a terrible, horrible daughter-in-law, do you know that? How dare you not listen to what I tell you? Here I thought I was going to be happy the day that you finally said you were never going to come back, but not when you're just doing it to get out of helping me while my son isn't here. You know, I was really hoping that you and I could have gotten along and been better friends, Mary. But now I see that that just isn't going to happen. Why don't you just wait for Brandon to come back from his business trip before you run away like this? Although if you did leave him, then everything could go back to the way it was before. I see. I think you're right about that. Wait, you mean that you'll really get a divorce with Brandon then? Well, good. Finally. Good riddance. I never want to see you again. Mary, I, I was just curious. Are you at the house right now? No, actually, I'm not. If you must know, I'm on vacation with a friend. We're out enjoying some lovely hot springs. So tell me what you want right away or leave me alone. Well, I was actually trying to get into the house to grab some things of mine, and I can't get in. Well, that's because I changed the locks to the doors, of course. <laughs> you really think that I was going to let a horrible woman like you back in the house after the way you left me? I thought I told you that I never wanted to see you again. So you really think you can just try and take my house from me like this, you old hag? Did you really just call me that? Well, I guess I see the real kind of person you are now. I knew that you were just putting on an act and only pretending to want to be my friend. But I'll be sure to tell Brandon what you said to me. Actually, those words are from none other than your son, Brandon himself. Wait, what? What are you talking about? You're trying to tell me that Brandon called me that? I don't believe you. Well, I was just shocked at the way you turned on me after Brandon left. You became a horrible bully. So of course I had to tell him all about it. You mean that you ratted on me to Brandon? How could you do that? I thought you said that you wanted to try to get along with me. Well, I've already given up on that. The only reason I'm here now is to collect my things. After that, I really will move out of this house forever. Oh, really? Well, that's a relief to hear. You know how I never ever want to deal with you again. And just where will you go, though? It's not like you have any parents who you can go and live with. <laughs> You do remember that I have a job, don't you? I can move into a new place if I want. My parents may be dead, but that doesn't mean that I can't take care of myself. Well, fine. But if you're leaving, just make sure to sign the divorce papers I have left for you on the kitchen counter. And just why would I do that? My husband is in another country and wouldn't be able to do anything about it for months. 
Except for the fact that you're forgetting that I am Brandon's mother. That means that I can sign his divorce papers for him if I want. And after you leave, I'll take care of my son's house until he comes back. Except for the fact that I was the one who suggested letting you live with us. It was your son who was against it, actually. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? I mean that I was hoping that by letting you live with us that you and I could have gotten along. But I would have never guessed that you'd treat me like this. But, wait, I don't understand. My son would always do whatever I told him to. Except that I know you don't have as much control as you say. That's why you've been trying to tell Brandon all about what you think is going on here. Like about how I'm not doing enough chores, or how you think I might be sleeping around. Well, so what? Who cares if I am if it's true that you're being suspicious? Besides, when I told Brandon that I was going to try to get you to sign the divorce papers, he said okay. You see, that means he's on my side. Too bad for you. Now that you don't have anybody left, don't you get that? <laughs> no, I'm afraid that you've just jumped the game and leapt to a conclusion that isn't true. In fact, it was Brandon who suggested that I try going over to the house in person to try and talk to you. He suggested that I confront you and tell you that we're going to cut you out of our lives. And at this point, I had no reason to disagree with him. Wait, so the two of you are just going to try to cut me out of your lives entirely? That's right, and there is nothing that you can do about it. But this isn't fair. I mean, I never had any kind of warning or anything. You can't just tell me this. You know, I really didn't want it to come to this. I was hoping that if enough time passed that you would have changed your way, but you only got worse instead. Hold on a second. Brandon just sent me a message. He told me that he never wants to come back home. That sounds about right. I asked him to send you a message since you weren't listening to what I had to tell you. But it's true. We don't ever want you setting foot in our house again. Just go and find somewhere else to live, got it? You can come over another day and pick up your things if you'd like to. Wait, hold on. I don't understand. Are you really serious about all of this? Of course we're serious. And just why would we need to wait? Well, because I was going to be coming back home tomorrow. Please, can't you just let me get my things then? Can't I stay there one more night to pack? Fine. You can come back here, but just to pack up your things and leave. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to leave right away. After all, it will take me some time to try to find a place that would let me rent, right? No. There are plenty of open apartments around the city, and you're more than welcome to choose from any of them. But, Julie, I'm your mother-in-law. You know that, right? You can't just treat your husband's mother like this. You have to be kinder to me. Is that supposed to be some kind of a joke or something? Of course not. Don't you see how cruel you're being towards me? I mean, I know that we might fight now and then, but there's no need to escalate things like this. I know that you don't really want to do this. What on earth are you talking about? You're the one who completely changed on me after Brandon left. I think that you never even liked me to begin with. I mean, it wasn't long before you started trying to push me to divorce my husband. Not only that, but you were making fun of my parents' deaths as well. No, I wasn't trying to put you down at all. I was just worried about your options would be without Brandon in your life. Don't you get it? I really don't care at all what excuses you've made up for yourself, but you've done nothing but make me feel awful as a woman, wife, and daughter-in-law ever since Brandon went away. Please, you have to know that that was really never, ever my intention. And how can you expect me to believe that you cared for me at all when you were actively trying to ruin my marriage to Brandon? You know, I was so upset that I was doing something wrong and trying to become friends with you, I wondered what I was doing to make you talk to me in the way that you did. And when the stress finally became too much for me and I collapsed at work, I knew that I just had to keep myself from going back home for my own health. You were the cause of all my suffering. Please, I am so, so sorry about everything, Julie. You have to believe me. Can't we just talk about this like adults? There's no need to do something as drastic as kicking me out. 
You really thought that you could turn my own husband against me, and now you're just desperate because you realized that you have nobody in your corner at all. I really did want to get along with you, but you've pushed me into doing this. Never forget that. After Mary got back from her trip, she came over to the house where I had already hired movers to box up her stuff and prepare them to be taken off to her family home. Mary was in tears over being kicked out, but nothing she could say would make me change my mind. She was crying the whole way through, from when she first stepped into the house until she took her last step out of it with boxes in hand. She tried to apologize for the way she had treated me, but I wasn't having it. I told her that what she did to me was horrible and that neither Brandon nor I ever wanted anything to do with her again. I hear that ever since she's got back to her old house, that she's become something of a shut-in, hardly ever leaving the house. As for me, I finally feel like I have a peace of mind that I haven't felt in a long time. Of course, I think it's horrible that things went the way they did with Mary and I. But it isn't long before Brandon will come back and we decided what we want to do as a couple again.